Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well and surviving lockdown as best you can. My name is Steph and I'm one of the group fitness instructors at Jesmond Pool and Gym. Today I'm going to be taking you through a simple, quick upper body circuit that you can do anywhere at any time to get your chest, arms and back really nice and strong. It requires no equipment and it's suitable for all fitness levels so I really hope that you're able to join along and follow this video. So, before we get started with the main part of the exercise, we're going to do a quick warm up. So if you can get up onto your mat, we're going to start with some windmills. So you're reaching opposite hand, to opposite leg, and opening up through the chest, looking towards the ceiling. And we're going to do five of those on each side. So one, two, three, really reaching towards those toes, five, and coming up, and then we're going to open up our chest like so, and reach across our body, and twist from side to side, so we're getting into that core, and stretching out through that upper back and those arms, and swapping onto the other side again, really nice and dynamic, twisting from side to side as you pull your arm towards your chest. Good, now we're going to come back to standing and repeat those windmills one more time. So take a really nice wide start and look up towards the ceiling as you twist and touch that opposite foot. Two, three, four, five, give me one more on each side, really open up through that chest. Good, and then we're going to come back to those cross body stretches, really pushing into those arms, Twisting from side to side, open up through the chest and hop. Good, and finally we're just going to roll out our shoulders, release that upper back, you can take your arms overhead if you wish, swing them backwards. And forwards, really mobilising those joints before we get started with this workout. Good, and shake it all out. So hopefully now you should be feeling a bit looser and ready to start our upper body session. So the way this session is going to work is that we're going to be doing a pyramid structure, which means that we're going to re be repeating five exercises, and each time the number of reps that we're doing is going to get lower. So we're going to start with quite a few reps and really challenge your muscular endurance. And then each circuit we will do a few less repetitions of each exercise. As I said, there's going to be five exercises and they're all going to be challenging your chest, your shoulders, your arms and your back. So I will explain the exercises as we go along. But the pyramid structure is going to work that we're going to do 16 reps on the first round, 12 reps on the second round, and then finish off with a round of only 8 reps per exercise. So I really want you to slow down and really think about the muscles that you're trying to work as you're doing these exercises. Make every single rep count and really try your best, even though we have no equipment, to feel those muscles working and to get the most out of each exercise. So, we're going to start with a classic, a push-up, except we're going to take a wider stance and we're going to come onto our knees for these push-ups. So, if you come onto your mat, make sure that your hips are over your knees and that your hands are wider than the shoulder width apart, so you can see like this. We're simply going to sink nice and low, so our chest is almost up to the floor and push through the palm of our hands to come back up to the top of that push-up. And as I said, we're going to start with 16 reps of each exercise. So if you can get ready in that push-up position with that nice wide start with your hands, we'll start in three, two, one. Let's go for 16 reps. We want to keep our chest nice and open and our neck in line with our spine. Good. We've got 12 reps to go here now, guys. Squeeze your abs and keep your core engaged the entire time you're doing these press ups too. The lower you get, the more you're going to be working your body. Give me 
eight more. You want to be inhaling on the way down and exhaling on the way up. Four, nice and wide, almost there. Three, two, one more press up here. One, and rest. Well done, that's your first exercise complete. The next exercise is going to be a Superman with a forward reach. So we're going to be coming with our chest and our stomach flat onto the mat, reaching forwards, chin tucked, looking down towards the mat. To do the Superman, you lift your legs and your chest off the floor, really drawing those shoulder blades together like so, and then slowly release back down onto your mat. So as you can see, I'm really using my upper body muscles to get my chest and my shoulders off the floor, looking forward with chin tuck and feet off the ground before slowly releasing down. So everyone get down onto their mats. Ready to start those supermans for 16 reps in three, two, one, let's go. In 16. 15, draw those shoulder blades together, squeeze that upper back. 14, 13. We want a really nice high lift to that chest. Squeezing at the top of the movement. Don't rush it, guys. You want to be nice and slow and controlled. We've got just 10 more reps. Keep breathing nice and steadily. Good. And one more Superman, hold at the top here, and release. Good. So that's exercise number two complete. We're now going to target our triceps. And the way we're going to do that is by getting into a crab position. So you're going to be on all fours, but the opposite way around, with the, the fingers facing forwards towards your feet. We're going to lift our hips nice and high, and then slowly bend up your elbows so that we can feel it in the top of our arms sinking low and then pushing through the palms of our hands to get back up to the top of your dip. So as you can see, you want to be keeping your elbows nice and close to your waistline and not letting them flare out too much to the side. And we want to keep our knees roughly directly over our ankles and our hips high so we can really feel it in those tricep muscles at the top of our arm. So, when you're ready, getting into that nice reverse tabletop position with your fingers facing forward. We're going to go for 16 reps of those dips in three, two, one, sinking low and push through the palms of the hands. Really keeping those elbows back and those shoulder blades together whilst our chest remains open. Good. We've got 12 reps to go. Keep the chest nice and high, hips off the ground. Six. Keep squeezing those elbows close together. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And rest. Good. So now that we've worked our triceps and our upper back, and our chest, we're going to be doing some bicep curls. So you can choose to either sit, stand or kneel like I'm going to be doing. And the way these are going to work is that we're going to keep a constant tension in both biceps and curl one at a time. So squeezing that left bicep whilst we curl the right one and then swapping one to the other side. We're going to be doing 16 reps in total, so eight on each bicep to start with. So we want to keep our shoulders back, our chest up and our core engaged and really isolate those upper, those upper arm muscles so that we can feel it in our biceps. So getting into position, we're going to start with 16 reps in 3, 2, 1, let's go. 16. Good. 
15, really squeeze those fists together, that will help engage your biceps. And squeeze the muscle at the top of the movement. So you're maintaining that tension in the muscles the whole time. Good. Just 10 more bicep curls to go. into a full plank position like so or whether you want to keep your knees on the ground. Either way, what we're going to be doing here is getting into that plank position and drawing our elbows up and back towards our waistline and then placing the hand back on the floor like so. So the aim is to get your elbows nice and high if you're aiming for the ceiling whilst maintaining a nice steady plank and keeping that core engagement so you can feel it in your abs as well as your upper back and your shoulders. So, whether you're taking a high plank or on your knees, get into position with your shoulders directly above your wrists. We're gonna go for 16 reps in total again, starting in three, two, one, let's row for one, two, three. Imagine you're trying to squeeze something between your shoulder blades and keep that elbow and that arm really nice and close to the sides of your chest and your waistline. Good. Give me ten more. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Using your core to steady your hips so you're not swaying from side to side too much. Two. One. And that is your Renegade Rose done. So now that we've completed all five exercises for 16 reps, we're going to get a quick glass of water, take a quick break, and then come back to do them all over again for 12 reps. So now that we've had the chance to breathe and let our muscles recover, we're going to repeat all of those exercises all over again, starting with our wide push-ups. So now that we're reducing the number of reps, you might want to challenge yourself by taking your knees off the ground and completing all 12 push-ups without um, taking your knees on the floor. But that is completely up to you and your individual fitness level. So, chest open, core engaged, taking those hands nice and wide, wider than shoulder width apart. We're gonna start in three, two, one, let's go. For 12. 11, pushing through the palms behind. 10, 9, tuck that chin in, keep that core engaged. 6, you're halfway there now, guys, keep going. For 5, 4, sinking low. 3, 2, one more wide push up. And that is exercise number one done. Good. So now we're going to go back to those Superman reaches. So nice and flat on the mat. Make sure you have enough, enough space in front of you and to the side of you for this movement. We're going to be reaching all the way up to the top of our mat, stretching out the body before we come into that Superman. We're going to start for 12 reps in three, two, one. Let's go. 12. 11, 10, 9, 8, lift that chest off the mat, squeeze those shoulder blades together, lift those feet off the floor to 4, 5, 4, chin tap, Three, two, one 
one more sleeping bag, make it nice and high. One, squeeze and hold at the top. And release. Good work, guys. So, now that we've done our chest and back, we're going to go back into those tricep dips. So, we want to get our hips as high as possible in that tabletop position. Really looking in front of you and engaging the core to extend yourself. We're going to do 12 dips, starting in three, two, one. Let's go. Good 12. 11. 10, get those elbows as far back as you can. 9. 8. 7, arms engage. 4. 3. Keep your hips high. Two. Push through the palms of your hands for one more tricep dip. And rest. Well done. Now we're going to go back into our bicep curls. So, this time I'm going to demonstrate them from a seated position, but essentially it is the same concept. So, we're going to keep our elbows nice and tight into our chest, curling those biceps in and clenching the fists. We're going to do 12 reps in total, so six on each arm. Starting in three, two, one, let's go. 12, 11, 10, 10 9, squeeze those upper arms, 8, 7, holding really nice and tight at the top, 6, 5, 4, keep squeezing, 3, 2, As usual, you can either take your knees down or come into a full plank position. And we're going to be going for 12 reps, so six on each side. So we want to maintain a nice strong core here to steady ourselves. And we're going to start rowing in three, two, one, let's go. 12, 11, 10, get those elbows as high as you can. Looking forward, maintaining that nice straight plank position. Squeezing at the top. Make every movement count. Four. Three. Two. Keep rowing. One more. And rest. Good work, guys. That is circuit two out of three complete. I hope you're now really starting to feel your upper body work and that you are not struggling too much but you feel like it's challenging you a little bit. So as I said before, we're going to take a quick rest and grab a glass of water and then go for our final round of upper body exercises. Okay, so seeing as this is our last circuit, I want you to make sure that every movement counts and that even though we're only doing just eight reps of each exercise, we're really making the most of each rep by squeezing those muscles engaging your mind as well as your body to ensure that we're getting the most out of our workout today. So, when you're ready, we're going to come back onto our mats to start the one final round of those wide push-ups. I'm going to go onto my knees this time, seeing as it's the last round of our workout, but feel free to stay on the knees if that's more comfortable for you. The most important thing is that we're taking it nice and wide and getting our hips low. So, in preparation, we're going to do eight reps, starting in three, two, one, let's go. Eight. Seven. Six. Three. Five. Inhaling on the way down and exhaling on the way up. Four. Three. And release, good. So, next exercise, we're gonna repeat those superman reaches for just eight reps this time. 
coming nice and flat onto the floor, driving those hips into the mat. We'll start in three, two, one. Let's go. For one. Two. Chest as high as we can get it. Three. Chin touch, four engage. Four. Reaching nice and far forward on the way down. Five. Six, almost there. Run away, run away, run away, run away. One final breath. Eight, squeeze and hold at the top. Seven, five, 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 Tricep dips. As I said before, the more you drive your palms into the hat, into the floor, and the more you lift your hips, the more effective the dips are going to be. We're going to start in three, two, one. Let's go. Get this elbow back. Work those triceps for eight, seven, six, good, five. Keep that chest nice and proud. Four. a little finisher challenge just to get you really working hard before you go about the rest of your day. So, this is going to be more of a core exercise than anything else, but it will still be working your upper body and your um, lower body as well. We're going to try and hold a plank for an entire minute. I'm going to set a timer and you're going to get into a plank position either on all fours or a high plank. And I want you to comment below on this video how long you managed to hold your plank for or whether you managed to sustain it for the entire minute. So, once you've taken a quick break and recover from our upper body circuit, we're going to get into a lovely plank position on our back. And as I said, you can choose whether you're coming onto a plank like this or whether you're doing a full plank like so. Either way, we're going to try and hold it for an entire 60 seconds and really work our abs as well as our shoulders and our back and legs. Your 
below or come too high. And the next bit would be to really engage your hand and your thighs too. Keep holding, see if you can last the whole minute. below in the comments if you managed to um, maintain it for the entire 60 seconds. Well done if you did and even if you did it don't worry just keep practicing and trying again and eventually you will be able to hold that position for the full minute. So now before we end this workout I'm just going to do a quick cool down stretching sequence and then we will be finished. So coming onto the mat back like so, we're just going to roll our shoulders back like this is doing in the wall, and then I want you to take one arm over your head, place it behind your back and push that elbow down to really feel a stretch through the front of your upper arm here. Good, nice and gently, breathing deeply as you push that elbow down. When it comes to the lyrics, and swapping with the other side. I was in those civics, and you were trying to keep me from winning, but I did it, I did it. Ask about me, I did it. Let man stay on my sofa, I did it. And release. Now we're gonna open up our chest. Really feel the stretch at the front of your upper body. And then hit one arm in front of your chest again. Let's open up our chest. Really feel the stretch at the front of your upper body. And then hit one arm in front of your chest again. Let's open up our chest. Really feel the stretch at the front of your upper body. And then hit one arm in front of your chest again. Let's open up our chest. Really feel the stretch at the front of your upper body. And coming on the other side. Squeezing that arm towards your chest. Keeping it nice and open. Lifting through the center of your body. And release. Now we're going to take one arm onto the mat. And reach over the top of our head. Looking forward to you. Let that left elbow in the vibe. You know me done shows in DC, NYC, drop my top yeah, back up to the and finally we're going to hit today something good, push the mat front back, reaching up towards the ceiling, and stretching through the arms, push those hands back behind your head, this workout challenging but still fun to do. I really hope to see you all soon back in the gym when we're allowed to be there and I hope you have a great day. Thank you very much for watching and let me know if I'm on the workout.